Greetings, Warriors of the Ring. My name is Strider656, and I'm thrilled to welcome you back uh, for another league game. This is my second game against D Ming17. Uh, we played this on Halloween, aka right now, because I'm recording this video right after um, the game happened. If you're interested to watch the live play and hear my in game reactions, uh, go check out that video. I will post it in the description. All right, so I'm playing free. Uh, this is our second game I played um, free in the first one. Uh, spoiler, spoiler alert, if you want to see who won, you can watch the first game. I'll also post that link in the description. If not, I'll just let you know that I won. Um, so I'm going to do my best to try to do these videos better for people who don't really know War of the Ring. So this recap will be said a little bit differently where I'll explain everything that's going on. So that if you're listening, you can also listen to this instead of just watching the board. Um, I'll let you know everything that happens. So I'm playing free I draw Thranduil's archers and elven cloaks. And let's go. Fellowship okay allocates one eye. And he rolls um, no more, but he rolls two high three hybrids, two army dice, and one character. I roll two characters, one hybrid, one palantir. Happy about this? My thoughts are I'll I'll pass and then I'll play Thranduil and then move the ring a few times. He moves Isengard to war to start using his hybrid die. I pass. He uses his army die to move the, the men from Baradur to Gorgoroth and the Isengard unit from North Dunland into Moria. I decide to play Thranduil's archers now, which allows me to recruit an elven elite into Woodland Realm and then draw a strategy card. But with Gandalf's ability, I can also draw a second one. So I draw a Book of Miserable, Wisdom of Elrond. Demon says, nice for straw. I said, thank you. I worked hard for it. He laughs about it because, you know, it's all luck anyway. He brings Saruman in now. Very risky because I could have um, I could have Mirror of Galadriel and then I could move and kill Gandalf and then I could play, um, use a ring to turn that last character into a Will of the West. So with the Fellowship, I don't have that. And um, he's looking to roll a six and he rolls a five. I write close roll. He says, yep. He uses an army die now to move the guys from um, Gorgoroth to Morannon and a second action to move everyone out of Moria into Dimeril Dale. I decide to move the Fellowship again. This time I am hit with a six and he roll draws a three, which is a perfect corruption soaking uh, from Gandalf. So at least the corruption was good. I said I'd rather not get hit. He moves Sauron to war. He says, well, you may roll a Will of the West next round. I said, I might, but we don't know that. So he moves Sauron to war using his hybrid die. And I use my hybrid to move the guys into Westamnet from Edoras and the guy from Carrick into Old Forest Road. His last action, he moves everyone from Moranin up using the character die to go up into Daggerlad. And that's turn one. Turn two, I draw into Ents, Awake, Entmoot, and King Brand's men. Uh, I say Fellowship okay, he allocates one eye, and he rolls um, a Palantir, a Muster, another eye, a character, a Palantir, a character, and a hybrid. And I roll a Will of the West, so I can get Gandalf the White, a, a Muster, and two characters. I say, nice, so there you go. I pass, because there's no reason to rush anything. I want to see what he does. I don't want to go right away to show him I have King Brand's men. I'm um, hoping that he's just going to go towards the Dew Line. Um, so the last thing I'm going to do is play that. So he's already committed to go north. He brings an elite into Dol Goldor to start using his muster action. I pass. He uses his hybrid action to move the guys from um, Dol Goldor into, what is this place? Uh, South Anduin Vale and up into um, Eastern Mirkwood. I say, that looks suspicious. AF. He says, don't worry about it. I laugh. Um, I think for a while, and I, I'm going to move the fellowship first. I don't want to show... Because what I'm thinking of doing, because I have Book of Miserable in hand, is I'm thinking of bringing Gandalf back into the Grey Havens instead of Fangorn, so I can play Book of Miserable to bring the dwarves straight to war. Um, same with the Fellowship first on two eyes, and he doesn't hit. He moves up. I move the Fellowship again. He moves. Uh, I he rolls two fours, which misses. So the Fellowship is safe. I said, "Few, I'm sweating over here." He says, "Meant to have left one in Dagger Lad, but too late." 
You play Shadow as Gather to get them there. I use my Will of the West now. Um, now that it's too late for him, he's he can't get to um, to Dale, so I was waiting to make sure he couldn't. So King Brand's not gonna have a book of Mizarbul can, so I can utilize all of my um, cards. So Gandalf shows up in the Grey Havens. D Mang seventeen says, "Geez, I say you know what's next." He draws a strategy card, and I play Book of Mizarbul to bring the dwarf straight to war, which you know will give him a Witch King. But I feel like I can muster an Erebor to be annoying. He decks Old Forest Road, no card. I play Confusion, uh, where that means when he rolls once, he hits himself. He rolls no ones and just slaughters them. So I feel like I just wasted that card. So um, everyone moves up from... I, I missed, I think I said he played Shadows Gather to go to um, Eastern Mirkwood, but now he's in Old Forest Road with this, with this force, and the north has moved down one towards war. Going to turn three. I draw Challenge of the King and Guards of the Citadel. Um, he allocates one eye. Rolls no more. It rolls a muster, a hybrid, two characters. Actually, two musters, two palantirs, two characters, and a hybrid. I roll uh, two characters of Will of the West, a palantir, and a muster. Um, so my thought is I want to play King Brands immediately before he can attack uh, Dale. He says, oh my word. So he's not happy. So I bring two Northmen and I draw Faramir's Rangers. Uh, Dmang17 says, three do reinforcements cards out of six draws. Um, so with with uh, King Brandsman, I'm also able to draw a card as well, which is nice. I decided to sell him Lucky. Uh, he blocks Carrick off from mustering, moving the north down, using his hybrid. And he also moves everyone from South Andreal. Uh, to re to combine onto Dimral Dale outside of Lorien. I pass. Um, he musters the Southrons and Easterlings down. I pass again. Now he brings the Witch King uh, using his muster action into Old Forest Road, which brings everyone to war and getting him another die for next turn. I move the Fellowship on uh, one eye. He misses. Uh, now he attacks Dale. And he thinks about it and plays Olagai first using a Palantir. I said with the fellowship again. Why not? I'm doing pretty well. He hits, and it's a one reveal. And of course, I'm gonna go through Moria because I want to get to Mordor. So here I go one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to Eastumnet. And he draws an eye for the second tile, so I didn't get punished. Now he plays Breaking of the Fellowship on me, and uh, draws a zero reveal. He just laughs. I was hoping it would actually hit. Like for one, because uh, then later on I could move the hob a hobbit to Fangor and to play on uh, my Ents card that I have in hand. Uh, I say, well, the zero reveal's gone. Uh, I flip the Fellowship and East of Net. He attacks Dale with no card. I decide to play Shield Wall because I don't want to. I don't want them dying, um, and it's a waste of a Shield Wall. He actually rerolled way too many. I say waste. I get one back. He presses, and I just run to. Um, to Woodland Realm because I can muster in Erebor. He tells me I can retreat somewhere different, and I say, no, nah, it's fine. I, I'm going to keep what I have. So for my final action, I decide to muster up in Erebor using my Will of the West ability so that I'm at least utilizing my muster. And he decides to put Erebor under siege. I just, you know, it's fine. I just, so now we go into turn number four. I draw House of the Stewards and Help Unlooked For. He allocates an eye, rolls one more. He rolls three characters, um, two hybrids, an army, and one muster. I roll a Will of the West, two musters, a Palantir, and a character. Um, so I'm going to move the Fellowship right away first. Then I think, and I said, I want to be annoying because I see there's, a, there's that lonely guy in Iron Hills. And I want to bait out his attack. Um, so I muster an elite into Iron Hills. He attacks Iron Hills with a strategy card. I don't do a card. He plays Desperate Battle and destroys him with three hits. And I get one back. He draws for the Witch King. And now I decide to use a character to move the Fellowship. He hits, and it's an eye. One reveal. Very unlucky for me, but it is what it is. Um, at least I got through Mordor before. 
Uh, he went south on his knees, Sterling's down using his muster action. I use my will of the west. Because uh, now I'm thinking I'm going to play help unlooked for uh, in Erebor. Uh, on Erebor. And if not, I'll use help unlooked for to attack him. He attacks Withered Heath using a character card. I play uh, No Quarter. He plays a Foul Stench. And he gets three hits. And I get nothing back. We both say wow. I say WTF. He says, guess I made the right call. Thought you had that card. I did. He draws for the Witch King. So that whole Dale army just died. So good job. I flip the Fellowship using the muster action. Then I, and then um, he decides to move the guys. Move a regular to um, North Rune and a regular to South Rune to get more forces on Erebor. <laughs> Shoot, excuse me. That's my guess at least. I pass. He uses the army to die to um, to move everyone into East Rune using moving the two armies. I pass again. He uses the hybrid to move everyone to Iron Hills. And the guys from Far Harad to Near Harad. I put Elven Cloaks in the pool. He puts She Loves Lair in the pool. And I say, yeah, nice response, ass. And he just laughs. It's, it's, it's all good fun. Uh, so we go into turn five. I draw uh, There Is Another Way in Grimbjorn or Scouts. Say Fellowship, okay. He allocates an eye. Rolls two more, two armies, a hybrid, a muster, and a character. And I roll two musters, a palantir, a will of the west, and a character. So now I'm thinking, I'm going to I'm gonna try to get to Mordor this turn. So I move, I'm hit, it's a two. I take a random, it's Boromir. Very lucky for him, but very lucky for me too that I didn't lose Strider to that. He decides to uh, use the voice ability to muster a regular in every territory. With the fellowship again, I'm hit again. He does a one reveal. I take the corruption. Because I know I can hide using Strider's ability. He plays a shadow is moving. Because uh, everyone's at war, he can do this using his army action. He moves on to Erebor as one. He moves one army onto the Fellowship as two. He moves the guys from South Dunlin to Gap of Rohan, that's three. And he moves all his guys into Umbar from near Harad, that's four. I decide to use the um, Palantir to hide. He's confused for a second. I love it, but there's no cards I want to play here. Um, but I, I might want to play one of the, these cards. I can play guards. He attacks Erebor using a character card. I decided to play a strategy card here. Um, my thought is play charge. He plays Dread and Despair. Good good card for him. But I think for a while, then I see the initiative order. Uh, guards of the Citadel. Sorry, charge goes first. It's a two. Um, so I get two hits with the charge. He forfeits three leadership and rolls the zero hits. And I get one hero hit. So I get three hits. I say, go dwarves. He says, I say, take revenge on those Northmen. He says, stop, Witch King draw. Draws a character. I pass. He attacks Airbor again. Playing a strategy card. Now I'm going to play um, a sudden strike here. He plays an onslaught. My sudden strike misses. His attack whiffs totally. And I get one hit back. And he decides to onslaught four of his guys. Um, but looking at his die rolls, it'd be great if like the two three 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 was the one he would roll here. Um, but he rolls five one one two, which is equally awful. So he stops. I contemplate giving a ring to attack, but I think it's more important to get to Mordor. Um, so I move the elves down. He plays foul thing from the deep. All right, so let's look at the hunt pool. Uh, he uses character die to do that, by the way. Um, hunt pool has uh, two reveals. The two reveal would be awful. The zero reveal would also be awful. The eyes would be great. The ones would be pretty bad, though. He draws a one and pulls Gimli. So I say, you know, the roads are fighting. It's only fitting. Now I give him a ring to move the fellowship. Uh, he misses on um, on hitting on threes or lower or fours or lower. Or higher. Um, I give him the ring back. He doesn't have cruel weather. Um, instead, he uses his last action to move all his forces onto Erebor. So he's feeling helpless right now. Um, I draw axe and bow, which is a great card to have. Um, and I draw Riders of Theoden. Fellowship Bouquet allocates two eyes, rolls no more. 
I decide to move the fellowship immediately. And I draw a two. I think I take a random, which is dangerous. Uh, and I draw Pippin, which is good because I want to keep Axe and Bow. But I want to move before he can put some tiles in, which he does now using the um, character. He puts the ring as mine in the pool. I put Axe and Bow out. He puts give it to us in the pool. That's two reds. Uh, I'm going to keep the hunt pool open so you can see this. So now he's got three reds in the pool. It was a nice pool, but for a little bit. I say, wow, three tiles? He says, yep. I move the fellowship because I could at least soak the corruption using the axe and bow. And he draws she lob. He says, could be king. It could be big. He rolls a three. I just, and Strider dies to it. Because you don't want to random and lose um, Legolas here. She lob kills Strider. He brings the mouth in. I pass. He brings he musters Nazgul into using his muster action and Mount Gundabad and uh, Minas Morgul. I pass. He uses his hybrid to attack Erebor, playing a, a character cry. I see his strategy now is just to um to to try to get some corruption. I do no card. Uh, he plays Orc Patrol, and he it whips, and he gets one hit. And I get three back. So the dwarves are hitting really hard. He stops and draws for the Witch King. In the, and uh, I decide that I want to uh, move the Fellowship again. Um, because even if I lose everybody here to an eye or something, at least I can take all the damage efficiently. And I don't want to deal with him drawing um, Candle of Corpses. He does draw an eye, which is a four reveal. Um, so I just totally tank it with everybody. And Gollum's here. He plays half orcs and goblin men on Erebor to muster another elite unit up there using his hybrid. I use my hybrid die to bring the elves down. And he uses his, um, he flips the, the muster, he flips the mouth of Sauron uh, to attack Erebor again with an exclamation point. He does a character card, so I'm not going to play cards on him. Uh, he only gets one hit. And I get one hit back. Uh, he draws for the Witch King, and that's the end of that turn. Oh, no. Did he press? He pressed. Sorry, guys. Uh, so I see strategy cards, so I play Daylight now. He plays Delphi of Orthanc and gets one hit. And I get two back. Uh, so now he stops. We go to turn seven. I draw Path of the Moses and Horn of Gondor. I'm hoping to get um, Bilbo's Song or Mithril Coat at some point. It'd be great. See, so Fellowship Okay allocates one eye and rolls three more. Um, so I decide I'm not moving this round on four eyes. It's not happening. Even with all these dies, I can hide regularly. Then I'm going I'm to move Gandalf all the way to Fangorn. That's my goal. So I flip the Fellowship using the Will of the West. He plays on on they went. There goes another red tile in the pool. That's all of them. And I move Gandalf uh, to, uh, so he goes on Shadowfax and guns it using his fast horse's ability. One, two, three, four to here. Uh, trying to see, that, that's the fastest way I could go. He draws a character card. I move Gandalf again to Fangorn. He draws another character card. I pass. He attacks Erebor using a character card. I play Sudden Strike. Um, and he plays Nazgul Strike. Uh, my Sudden Strike doesn't hit. He gets one hit. And I got one back. So one to one. He stops and draws. I see he's just trying to draw all the character cards out of the, the thing. Uh, I decide to move all my guys to Fords of Eisen. Because like I said, I'm not moving the Fellowship against four eyes. He attacks Erebor. Uh, using War, War and Star and Toil. Um... And gets two hits, which kills them. And I get two back. So at least I do damage. I say no more cycling for you. But he kills Erebor. And now he's at three victory points on turn seven. And he's able to draw. I use my muster action to bring the elves all the way to war. So now I can muster in Woodland Realm to be obnoxious uh, and retake do if I need to. He attacks Lorien. I draw Swords of Eriador and the Great Company. And turn eight, and I get rid of Great Company. 
doesn't matter. Great Company and House of Stewards are equally awful because I don't have any fellowship members outside. He, I, uh, he, I can't talk. I say fellowship, okay, I'll when I rolls two more. This is better than last turn, so I'm going to move for sure this time. All right, uh, so now I decide... Uh, I was What I was going to do is play Ents followed by... Um, there is another way, but he told me to stop and wait. And he discards. And I forget to play and so I remind him after I ask if I could play it. Um, so I move the Fellowship. I move down a Corruption, and I draw uh, Give It to Us. So now I go back. That's two reds, if you're keeping track, guys. And I go back the Corruption. And... Um, He allows me to put it out, so thank you for that. And I rolled two hits on um, War Thank. And now I let him go. He decides to use his muster action to bring a regular into War Thank and a regular into North Rune. I'm, I flip the Fellowship. And, some, and my plan is I'm going to move again this round because it's only three eyes. Uh, he musters another regular into Orthanc and a regular into North Rune. And I move the Fellowship and I draw two Reveal. And this could be a mistake here. But I decide to uh, take both Corruption and not Reveal. Because I'm worried he might have a car uh, cards to punish me. Because he's been drawing so many character cards. I don't need a Morgul Wound and um, a Lure of the Ring to put me up. So that's why I decided to take it. Because I can't defend. And you could do back-to-back -back hits on me. Um, all right, he decides to use a hybrid uh, to move. Okay, so he used the, the voice ability to um, upgrade to elites, or two regulars into elites. I pass again. He uses an army uh, to move these two guys out to Fords of Eisen and these two guys to Dale. Now I decide I don't want him to take an easy Edoras. Uh, so I use my hybrid action to block Westamnet and also bring my elf over to um, to Dale to retake it. And I laugh, and he goes down. And now he attacks Dale from the Witch King. And I decide I'm not going to play any card against him. I thought of scouts, um, but I I can muster up in um, in here anyway. He gets no hits at all, and I get a hit back to the elf. I say that also going to kick the Witch King's ass. He presses, and I go back to Woodland Realm. Very brave elf. Um, okay. So I use my muster action to muster an elite in Woodland Realm. And now he goes back to back. He plays Candle of Corpses. And he gets one hit. I was hoping for zero, but I can't really control that. I said, he says, too bad there aren't any companions. Then he gives me a ring uh, to play Isidore's Bane. I want to show you the hunt pool. There's three eyes and there's four eyes in the pool, um, and there's two threes. Four, or there's three threes that could hurt. He draws a three, so now I'm at ten corruption. I'm at risk of dying. Um, so this is where I call. This is why I'm going to label this video "Vase's Revenge," um, just for the hell of it, regardless of the result. Um, so here we go into turn eight. I draw uh, Ents and through a day and a night. Uh, I say fellowship, okay. He allocates an I rolls one um, rolls one more, so I can still die. It's enough to kill me. And he rolls um, two hybrids, two armies, two characters, and two palantirs. And I roll two characters and a um, palantir. So I decided I need to draw into Mithril Coat like right now or Bilbo Song. I draw Mirror of Galadriel, useless. He, what's he do? Oh, he's mustering a Naz. He thinks, and he moves everyone out into Fords of Eisen. And he moves these two guys um, from Carmen to Dale to take it. Oh, so to condense into Dale, so to make it harder. I decide I need to, I am desperate right now. I need to draw Mithril Code. So I give him a ring to draw cards, and I draw another Ents. So I can kill Saruman. At least. He attacks Helm's Deep. I'm going to wait, though, to attack it. Oh, no, no, I don't. I move the Fellowship. All right. Um, everything kills me. Except for the one, the three, and the zero. Let's see what happens. 
Drum roll. Let's take the hunt pool again. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine tiles and six kill me. And I draw the zero reveal. Uh, so I say few. He moves the mouth uh, to Lorien. He moves the Nazgul from Airborne to Lorien. Then changes his mind to Umbar. I'll just wait till it's done. And he's all set. Now I'm going to kill Saruman off because I'm not moving the Fellowship again. Bye, Saruman. All right. Um, he plays Corsairs of Umbar, but I know he can't win this turn because I do the math, which is why I decided to um, to do that. He attacks um, DA. I pass. He attacks DA. I, he plays a strategy card. There's no point for me playing a card. It's not going to happen here. He plays Onslaught. If I had played Confusion... Uh, it would not have saved me. I would see. I would still die. Um, and he gets. Uh, he gets two. He gets th all three in that. I got one back. And he draws. He's at five victory points now. Now he plays Ring Razor abroad. Uh, to attack comes deep. I play Confusion here because this battle I feel I have a better chance at. Maybe I should have played um, Ents the Horn Dark. Uh, he gets uh, two, two total, and I get three back plus one because they had in confusion, so I got four back. He stops and draws for the Witch King because he doesn't want to deal with losing it. I pass, so I know I, I can't, um, I'm not going to lose this turn. It'll be next turn that I lose. All right, um, so he attacks Elm's Deep again. He chooses a character card. I'm going to play my Horn Dark now. He plays very terrible, and he gets two hits, but it doesn't kill them. He thinks about pressing. He presses. Um, I get no hits, by the way. No card. I play Heroic Death. He gets one hit. I get nothing. So that the after our four-hit combat, the Rohirrim just decided to um, to roll around in the ground and and make uh, I don't know snow angels in the in the horse pen. He presses, no card, no card, and he gets his hit. I say, Rohan sucks. And now I decide to threaten a military victory. My idea is if he attacks that guy in Westamnet, I could scouts into Fords of Eisen. And the next turn to start, I could uh, move, move, and get four victory points. I say, watch out. I laugh. He's scared because the Kyrdan's not played. He actually moves the guy from uh, near Harad to Umbar and these guys to Lambden. So at least I feel like I kind of stalled him there. All right, here we go. Turn nine. This is the last turn. Just letting you guys know. Normally I don't tell you. Um, but here we go. So my hope, I draw into I Will Go Alone and Power of Tom Bombadil. My one hope now is please don't roll an eye. Or, so he allocates an eye and rolls two more, three more. Um, I correct him later. He did not take the die out for Saruman's death, um, but I will correct him. So I draw. I roll three Palantirs, one character, one hybrid. And he rolled um, a muster, two characters, a hybrid, an army, and a palantir. So I, my job, I'm going to dig for Mithril Coat. So first draw is crappy ass there and back again. He attacks Polar Gear, no card. Um, gets one hit. Takes him. Uh, so here we go. I draw a card. There it is! Mithril Coat shows up. So Mithril Coat is here. He moves the Witch King, um, his leadership all around, thinks about it. Um, he didn't go yet, but I t he knows what I'm going to do, because I show him Mithril Coat. I say, sorry, well, you know what's next. He attacks Westamnet. I play a Scouts to get the hell away. He plays Relentless Assault. So it's going to delay him a little bit, um, but he just needs two more points. And my idea is I could attack... Um, could attack Dale and take it back, but even if I do, he's gonna take Air. He's gonna take Edoras, so I have to move the ring. Draws the Witch King. I decide to put Mithril Coat out. He attacks Edoras. Uh, we we resolve the Saruman thing. Uh, he plays Lure of the Ring, so I don't know how long he had that, but I'm happy I didn't reveal before. Um. All right. He gets his hit. I do not. So he's at nine. And I move the fellowship. This is it for the game, guys. So um, let's look at the hunt pool. Because this is the final action. 
All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tiles. Two win me the game. Six lose it. Uh, so let's see what he draws. He draws an I. Okay, now it's a uh, two and seven chance. All right, here we go. And I draw. Drum roll, guys. Drum roll again. The zero! Elven Cloaks comes and saves me. So this is Vase's Revenge. That's what I call this video. Um, just because of all the tiles I drew. I know at the end I won. And it wouldn't. And it's not real revenge. But if you think about that game I played with Vase, I had We Shall Get It. And he drew the same cloaks here. Um, so, but I played We Shall Get It to get a different tile. So, crazy game. Thank you, D-Mang17. Uh, great sport, great player. It was really fun to play him. Obviously, it feels nice that I won. Um, but, you know, it's still it's still a close game. Let's look at the statistics so you can see how awful it was. And you can tell me what you th your thought is on luck. All right, so he was minus four on sixes, plus, uh, plus four on fives. I was plus two on fives, minus two on sixes. Uh, so my combo was good at the beginning of the game, then turned to ass as the game went on. Um, and he rolled well better as the game went on. So that was the game. Thank you all for watching. Now I am three and two in my league, and I played enough games uh, for me to not get demoted to the Hobbit tier next year. Thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.